The front nine of Rustic Bridge will host this quarterfinal matchup in week eight between DFW AI and Generation Z. I'm Chad Shrump, pleased to be with you here in week eight. A road to world will be ending in Las Vegas, Nevada in September, but the players must win these head-to-head -head battles, single elimination, Jordan Scott off the tee, he is in the trap, will be a chip he should like. Here is Edwards. This is deep, and this is a makeable putt. This should be flat. A long, flat eagle try is good. Jason Edwards is in the cup. And here is Jordan makes his chip. Beautifully done from the trap. We are off and running. Hi, everybody. I'm Chad Shrump. Hole two here on Rustic Bridge is a drivable par four. Jordan just wants to land this on the green and let it run out. He has done so. Run out. Beautifully done. Points? No. Here is Edwards. Three wood. This hits the green, and this needs to slow itself down. That has gone down the hill. Edwards will have a top chip. Torpedo sand wedge. Oh, look at that beauty. Still has the hole on fire, makes it two eagles here on hole number two. Onwards, hole three, par three. Javelin, that swipe was well left. That will affect the distance. It does not get there. It will settle into the fringe. No problem there, though, for Jordan. Should be fine. Here's Edwards. On to the green, a violent kick to the left, and that is a birdie putt. Here is the Ranger from Jordan in, and Edwards will make this one, I am sure. Nine-footer goes in the cup. Still tied after three. No great shot points. If the players are tied after nine holes, we will go to the scorecards. The player with the most GSPs will win the tiebreaker. Here is Edwards. Look at that guy playing Golden Tee right in front of us. Looked like he was working on his sniper skills, just like Edwards. Puts that in the fairway. We'll have a shot over the top of the trees. Four wood sniper. Does not hit that all the way. That will not get to the cup. Hits that about 98%. Still, it was well done. Here is a five wood javelin. This is right three. It should move to the cup. It should move to the cup. How many points? None. Oh, my goodness. Was that six feet? Oh, it certainly was. Jordan Scott, six feet. No love for the youngster from Kentucky. On to the par four fifth hole. The swipe a little left again for Jordan. This will bounce to the right a bit. Yes, it will, and it will snuggle up nice and cozy for 13,000 great shot points for Jordan Scott. Well executed shot here on the fifth hole. Edwards hoping to do the same momentarily. Jordan's distance control has been absolutely immaculate. This entire tournament qualifying run that he has been on. Edwards, speaking of immaculate distance control, that was probably not it. We'll have a makeable chip from here. That is a jab, and that is dead center. No nerves at all for Jason Edwards thus far. His swipes have been absolutely money. We're tied after five. On to hole six. The pin looks like it's in the back of the green. You can see that on the map on the left. These players just need to hit the fairway and give themselves an opportunity to hole out. Here is Edwards. He is curved. Oh, no, 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 no. He has caught tree trouble. He has caught tree trouble. We'll try to bend this two iron out of here, and that will not come around enough. He will have a chip from there, maybe. Here's Jordan Scott trying to take advantage of the air, and he is in! Jordan Scott, 17,000 great shot points. Pulls out. The pin did look good when we saw the tee shots. Runway for the javelin to run out and score. This is a must-make almost for Edwards. Ranger in! Jason Edwards, 4,700 GSP. Only loses one stroke. It could have been much worse. Trails by one, three to go. Jordan Scott.
javelin just wants to land this green and let it fall off a cliff towards the hole and he has done a magnificent job at that more great distance control from jordan one less percent maybe and that might be in the jar 13,500 gsp but you don't want to be too cute you don't want that to get hung up in that rough and have a chip from there so nicely done from jordan edwards needs to figure out how to get a stroke back is this his chance the jab oh that's what i'm talking about that was a little bit too far right gets hung up in that fringe and now we have a long left two edwards cool and calm wow what a putt two birdies on the par three two holes to play one stroke lead for generation z on the tee box sniper up and he is on to the green that's an eagle putt from jordan scott Jason Edwards needs to make some magic happen. Sniper, he is up and very nice shot from Edwards. Here's Jordan, left seven, center cut. And here is an 11 footer for Edwards that he will make. So it's like this, Generation Z, one stroke lead. Edwards trails one. We will go to the softball diamonds. Let's see who can leave themselves a shot in Edwards, almost a must-make situation. This shot is up and away with a Maniacs. That needs to calm down a bit. There's trees right in front of him. Let's see if that will affect his shot. Jordan, 96% away, or 96% on the shot. Javelin, that's in there. More great shot points. Almost 5,000 more. He has a humongous lead on GSP. I don't know that a hole out here from Edwards even matters. I think that Jordan would probably win on tiebreak, but let's see. Edwards, does he have a shot? Yes, he does. He only hits this 95. Does it get there? The line is great. Oh, and it is short. It is short. That will do it. That will absolutely do it. Jordan Scott, a one-stroke victory on his quest to get to Las Vegas for the World Championships. Jason Edwards will be back, but Generation Z moves on.